Good morning. Today I am going to teach you the story Should Wizarded Mommy from the Stars written by John Updike. Now this story before we go into the story element let us know something about the narrator that is or the writer John Updike. He was uh, in his childhood tortured by cirrhosis and stammering and he had to suffer humiliation and ridicule on this account by his classmates. So John Updike when he is writing the story Should Wizard at Mommy, he creates a character by the name Jack. In the story somewhere it is written that uh, Jack remembered his humiliation of childhood but what he was suffering from which disease he is suffering from is not mentioned there. So Jack is the alter ego of John and Jack is the father of Joe and Jack used to narrate Saturday stories to his daughter. In the stories Jack always had a character by the name Roger. Roger had some of the other problem and then Roger had to face humiliation on this account. So let's see here John makes a character by the name Jack that is Jack is the alter ego of John. Jack makes a character Roger that is Roger is the alter ego of Jack. I think alter ego is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. Now in this chapter should wizard her mommy uh, the character that is uh, the main writer John Abdai he is talking about male chauvinistic attitude and uh, here uh, the main character Jack is also portraying the same male chauvinistic attitude. We will see when the story proceeds further. He also idolizes his mother and believes that his mother is the best and he believes that he is a good son as well as a good father. So in the story Jack is the father of two little kids. One is by the name Joe 4 years old, Bobby 1 year old and his wife is 6 months pregnant and is expecting the third child. So when Joe was two years old, his father started up a ritual of a bedtime story and Saturdays he normally used to tell a story. The story was more or less the same but it only had slight variation. Every story had a character by the name Roger. It could be Roger Fish, Roger Squirrel, Roger Chipmunk, Chipmunk. any character but the initial name is Roger. So here this was the basic story. The basic story was that whosoever the Roger is, Roger Fish, Roger uh, Squirrel, they had some of the other problem. They used to go to the wise old owl. Wise old owl, direct owl directed them to the wizard. Wizard used to have a magic spell. The problem used to be solved. Then he demanded pennies which were basically more than the character had. He used to direct him to the place where he would get the extra pennies. Roger used to go there, get the pennies, give it to the wizard. The Roger used to be happy. He used to go back home to his mother. The father used to come from Boston and the choo-choo train voice could be heard that brought the daddy from Boston. Together they used to have dinner and the basic story used to come to an end. Now that day was also Saturday. So let's see that uh, that day was Saturday and the father was there to tell her a story. The father asked him who shall the story be today. So she that is Joe said today's character should be skunk. She must have heard about skunk in the nursery school. So Jack started the story. Let us go to the previous uh, slide and we'll add up the uh, recent part. So here once again Roger now it is Roger skunk Roger skunk had a problem of foul smell because skunk is a carnivorous animal and is very stinky bad smell so he had a foul smell because of the foul smell he had no friends the creatures used to run away and he used to stand there and cry now hearing that he was crying yeah he used to cry the Joe, you know, she started having sympathy for the character Roger Skunk. Now here she said, why don't the skunk go to the wise old owl? Now the skunk goes to the wise old owl. The wise old owl tells him to go down to the wizard. 
wizard again just like the other stories cast a magic spell this time he asked him which smell roger skunk wants roger skunk said he wants the smell of roses now the magic is casted the problem is solved and roger skunk is smelling like roses now the wizard demands seven pennies but roger has four pennies he directs him to go down to the uh, go straight at the end of the lane turn three times look down there is a magic well from there he would be getting the three pennies roger skunk gets the pennies give it to the wizard and roger is very happy he plays number of games baseball football basketball hockey soccer you will have to remember any four and goes back home to his mother now here was the normal story till here the story was the way it used to go but today there was a change in the story why there was a change in the story now this is the story i have elaborated them roger skunk carnivorous animal nobody played wise owl goes to directs him to go down to the uh, house of the wizard i have described the house of the wizard coming over reaching the wizard's house and then after that wizard is casting the magics rose smell roger is very happy he plays number of games seven pennies and four pennies we have already had a word with he is very happy and goes back home now what is the change in the story is that as usual joe was very well aware that this would be the normal story every time and when jack was narrating the story she started you know interrupting in between also she was interrupting and asking him number of questions like won't he see the owl or the magic spell real what is a crick and rather than understanding that she is growing up jack scolds the daughter and he tells him that do you want to tell daddy the story as roger skunk problem was over the story ended and jo started fussing she was distracted why because she knew that this is the end of the story the problem is solved and it's a happy ending now jack did not like this behavior of his daughter he did not like women's you know uh, having their own say having their own mind having their independent thought he liked them apprehensive hanging on to his words so in order to develop authority over his daughter he gave an unexpected twist to the story now what is the twist to the story that when roger skunk went back home his mother asked him what was that awful smell she asked who made him smell like that roger said the wizard she was very angry she picked up an umbrella went to skunk went with roger skunk to the wizard and hit him right over his head and ordered him to change the smell back wizard obediently said okay roger did not smell of roses anymore they came back home the train brought father from boston they had lima bean liver mashed potatoes roger went to sleep when he was sleeping the mother went to him hugged him loved him as he smelled like roger skunk she loved him she kissed him why because here she felt that her son was obedient so this was a change and the twist in the story for the very first time the story did not have a happy ending and this could not be digested by joe joe's reaction joe wanted the story to end with roger being accepted by the other animal she did not relish this ending she wanted the father to change the ending of the story and she wanted the wizard to retaliate that means she wanted the wizard to hit the mother and she called the mother stupid mommy she could not bear the injustice to the wizard and uh, she said that she wants to have or to she wants a story in which the mother is hit by the wizard either you change the ending of the story today or tell me the same story with the ending of the mother being hit by the wizard tomorrow but jack did not you know want to change the ending why 
Jack was a, having a typical parental attitude. As per him, parents know what is best for their children. He wanted to assert the parental authority. And when I was telling you the story there also, when uh, Joe asked him the question, he could not bear the changed attitude in the daughter and even told her to shut up because the story was not her. The story was of her father. So, Roger Skunk is, uh, you know, defending the mother. If Roger Skunk smelled of roses, he would no longer be a skunk. He would gain a few friends but lose his entire family. He wanted to convey that one should not look for instant solutions of the problem. You know, he said that one has to wait patiently to be accepted from the friends. And moreover, he even asserted that the little skunk loved his mommy more than anybody else. That is why he went along with the mommy to the resort and got his smell back. So Joe wanted a happy ending, but Jack wanted Joe to understand that parents are always right. Now the other side, when we weave another thread of the story, we understand that somewhere or the other, Jack, was discomforted with the very fact as I told you he did not wanted the woman to be independent he was not a feminist and uh, here he wanted that the woman should be clinging on him yes he wanted to maintain that children should listen to their parents his daughter and his wife are likable when hanging on his words in the end part of the story, you will find it's somewhere a line written that he finds himself caught in the middle position. Now, what is this middle position? He loves his family but is unhappy because of the independent thinking. This is again I have, you know, quoted beforehand. beforehand. Why was he in the middle position? On one hand, his daughter has started asking him questions. That means he feels that, you know, his authority is challenged. On the other hand, he sees his wife, you know, uh, doing something independently, which he does not feel is something acceptable to him. Again, uh, you know, there is a line there in the book, half old tan and half new ivory. It's a metaphor for life. New feminist changes in the old family structure here. Till now, it was believed that women are not supposed to question the men. And here, both Joe as well as Jack's wife, they had their own independent thinking, which was not digested by Jack. So, the theme of the story is very interesting. It deals with the child's innocence and the adult complexes. There is a moral question and the moral issue that is asked is whether the parent should always decide what children should do or let the children do what they want or like to do. Children, you know, is children world is very different from the adult. Uh, they lack ugliness pity differences, they are pure at heart. So should Wizard Head Mommy raises many questions and offers many things to learn from children. Joe feels that the Wizard must hit Mommy. His father Jack is of the opinion that it would be bad because Mommy is always right and she ought to be loved and respected. So before we go to the character sketch of Jack here, Firstly, alter ego, is it clear to everybody? John makes a character Jack. Jack is the alter ego of John. Jack in the story makes a character Roger. Roger is the alter ego of Jack. Then the story, the basic story, the twist in the story in today's character is Roger Skunk. Skunk having foul smell, gets a rose smell. The mother does not like it and she gets the smell back the stingy smell joe's reaction joe is not happy with this ending she wants roger to be happy with the rose smell she wants roger to play with the friends she wants roger to you know to be accepted actually she is unable to understand why the mommy does not want her son to be happy and she calls mommy stupid mommy on the other hand jack is insistent of the fact that parents are always right parents are the well-wisher of the children if uh, 
the skunk changes his smell then maybe he would be getting few friends but he would lose the entire skunk family so this is the basic outline and here is the character sketch of jack though he is conscious of his duties as a father and a husband but still somewhere in his heart that male chauvinism doesn't goes away and he wants the woman to be lingering on them he does not want woman to be independent that is why he is not able to understand that his daughter who is now 4 year old has become inquisitive and she has number of questions in her mind she wants to ask something she is an independent thinker but he does not appreciate this fact so the story i think is clear thank you